Yeah, as everybody can see, you know, take a look at the weather. We're we're uh, really at day one of about a nine to ten day fairly extreme heat period. And as if you can imagine, you know, wearing heavy uh, firefighting gear, carrying packs, dragging hose, swinging tools, uh, the folks out there are just taking a beating. And so obviously we're advocating for them to hydrate, for the supervisors to pay attention to their condition. Uh, we have a lot of medical resources available, so if things do go awry, that we have the opportunity to, to provide treatment very quickly. We did have uh, eight heat-related uh, events today. Six people were transported. I believe uh, their condition is all good, uh, but we're really, as we look at tomorrow's plan, we anticipate having additional heat emergencies tomorrow. Uh, we're going to take all the precautions of having paramedic resources available, uh, aircraft available if we have to hoist people out, but we're going to take the heat very seriously. Uh, we're in this for a while. This is probably not going to be the only fire that we're dealing with here in LA County over the next uh, week or so, but uh, the heat is a, a big factor.